I'm waiting for you nosy people to come in here. Because I know you're nosy. And you love gossip. No matter what, even when you know you are the fucking problem. I know you nosy. And you like the gossip. Even though that you know you the motherfucking problem. Sing it with me. I know you're nosy. You like the gossip. Even though you know you are the motherfucking problem. I know you're nosy. And you like to gossip. Even though you know that you the motherfucking problem. I know you're nosy, you like to gossip, even though you know that you the motherfucking problem. I know you're nosy, you like to gossip, even though you know that you the motherfucking problem. I said, I know you're nosy, you like to gossip. Even though you know that you the motherfucking problem. I know you nosy. Y'all nosy as hell, boy. Mm-hmm. Yup. My only thing is, if you're going to be nosy, come with a solution. That's my thing. If I'm going to drag my nose in somebody else's business, I'm going to come up with a solution. You hear me? Mm hmm. Y'all see me putting them vegetables up in my body? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Zucchini. Mm hmm. I'm eating some noodles, vegetables. What was the caption of this video? It says, y'all nosy and y'all like the gossip. Y'all asking me what I'm eating is proving, proving my point. You're nosy as hell. You nosy as hell. What am I eating? What am I eating? I'm eating food. You're nosy. You ain't getting none. Now, I can tell you where to go get it from. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There you go. What am I eating again? Y'all nosy, man. Can you come on here without asking so many damn questions? What you eating? You said that's a hit. I appreciate it, man. That was just off the head, man. That just... I'm going to start doing that. My caption, when I come on a live, I'm going to have a song for it. I know you're nosy. You like to gossip. Even though that you know you the motherfucking problem. I know you nosy. You like to gossip. Even though you know that you the motherfucking problem. You nosy and you like to gossip. Nosy. Being here all up in my business when you know you got something going on in your house, but I ain't in your business. Mm -mm. I ain't in your business. Y'all post y'all business all on y'all pages, too. Y'all personal business. I come on here and make statuses to help other people. And y'all equivalent to my business. Y'all think when I get on here and do statuses about real father game, real mother game, yes, I go through things, but I don't bring my personal life to my social media. Y'all bring my my personal life to my, so, to my social media because you be on everybody's pages, people who y'all think know me, People who might know me, people who may have had a relationship with me at some point. Y'all know I got two kids. It's obvious I got two kids. I posted them on my platform. That's all I've ever posted. I post my children on my platform. I don't post my personal, personal business on my platform. Now, sometimes I have to address things because y'all run from platform to platform to platform to platform. I be trying to figure out how much time y'all got. How y'all got so much time that y'all be on everybody's page in everybody's business. Y'all know what everybody else said. 
How do y'all know what so many people are saying out here? Like, I ain't got that type of time. I don't know. Y'all be y'all actually like the newspaper for me. Y'all are like ABC News for me. Y'all are like Fox 5 for me. Because when y'all come in my comments, y'all tell me what's going on. I have no clue what be going on in other people's lives, man. I be When I'm in my house, I'm in my house and I'm working. I'm writing my music. I'm writing my skits. I'm minding my business. I'm promoting my different wine brands. I'm, po I'm promoting my beard oil. I ain't got time to see if the message who's sending to me is is 100% accurate. You know what I'm saying? When I see all of y'all in my comments commenting every day, I don't know y'all from a can of paint. Some of y'all I do. Some of y'all I trust y'all word a little bit more because I see y'all's comment a little bit more. So I've built up a track record with some of you guys. Some of you guys could be bots for all I know. I have no clue because I see some of the same comments on my platform as I see on other people's stuff. When I see no screen records, Listen, when I go to YouTube, if I want to see what's going on in my life, I go to YouTube. People surrounded, people who have been entered my life. If T.I. If T. I. goes live somewhere and he mentions me, I'm going to know about it because somebody on YouTube going to tell me. You know what I'm saying? If Rick Ross goes live and says something about me, all I got to do is go to YouTube. YouTube is going to tell me. If one of my baby mamas say something ill about me on social media, all I got to do is go to YouTube. And it's there. It's the news. So I don't know, man. Facebook, Facebook be on something different because the thing is, y'all guys come in here and just be chatting in my DMs, chatting on my comments. Listen, volunteering information I don't know about. Y'all be coming in here telling me about outside pregnancies and stuff. Man, I don't care nothing about nobody's pregnancy if it's not my baby. I wish everybody nothing but the best. You know, it's probably, it's a million women who's pregnant right now. They just got pregnant this morning. I don't need to know about their babies because it wasn't me. I wasn't with them. I ain't put no baby in their stomach. So why do I care? I'll wait till they post it on their pages and all that, and I'll tell them congratulations. You understand what I'm saying? I wasn't there when they made it. I didn't, I didn't stroke it once or twice or three times. I didn't have nothing to do with the baby. So if they made the baby or whoever it is that made the baby, I'll say them congratulations. I don't need to know about it. If it's not mine, I don't need to know about it. You understand what I'm saying? I don't have to take care of it. I think all of y'all are just like me. We all take care of our own children, right? And some of us take care of a lot of other children that's not ours. I'm that type of person. I take care of a lot of children, right? I have been that way. I've always been that way. But what I'm saying is, man, y'all got to understand, if you're not going to give me the money for whatever the situation is, don't come on here and play like you care. That's all I'm saying. Nosy, 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 nosy. Y'all be nosy, and y'all like to gossip, knowing that you is the motherfucking problem. Y'all be tripping in here, bro. I be seeing people in here talking about, you said you didn't never want to be a daddy. If I said that, what the fuck does that mean? A lot of people said that at some point in their life. I said I was never going to have kids when I was five years old. I said that. I said I ain't never having no kids when I was five. I did. I said that. But I had them. I had them. I had them. Even if I, <laughs> I had kids, even if I didn't plan it or not. And once my kids come in the world, they are my world. They're my responsibility, and I take care of them to the fullest. Can't nobody stop me. I know y'all talk about it. I see y'all see. I see it. Y'all see all this drama going on out here in the world, man. And again, when I get on here and talk about stuff, I told y'all I don't talk about. I'm not talking about my own situation. I know it's a lot of brothers around the world who not getting to see their kids, and I don't respect it at all. And I represent real father game. A lot of fathers out here have babies because the mothers decided to stop taking birth control and didn't tell the boy, and now the boy is a father. It's a lot of boys out. It's a lot of men out here like that right now who taking care of kids because they just good guys, and they did. They just gonna do right by their kids no matter how they got the baby. They, they step up and do what they supposed to do. A lot of women don't agree with that. They feel like, no, the man should put on a condom. They shouldn't leave it up to us to wear a child. To, 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 they shouldn't leave it, up, leave it up to us to take birth control. Listen, if you're taking birth control and your man knows you're taking birth control, at least tell him when you decide to get off birth control. That way he can start back wearing condoms. You see what I'm saying? Y'all be like, well, he should have wore condoms. No, you should have told him that you got off birth control. None of y'all like having sex with condoms on. None of y'all. Half of y'all women say you're allergic to the condoms. Half of, half of the women say they allergic to condoms 24-7. No, it breaks me out. I get an allergic reaction. So now the dude takes the condom off, 
You're on birth control. Now, all of a sudden, you just get off birth control and don't tell the dude. No, that's not right. Tell the man that you got off birth control. Tell the man. Say it with me, ladies. Tell the man that you got off birth control. Stop looking at the size of his wallet. Stop looking at his stability and saying, oh, I'm not going to tell him. I'm just going to have the baby. I'm going to make sure that I can be stable. No, stop doing that. That's not right. Stop doing that. You have to be adults about these things. Man, that's why a lot of people ain't got no trust no more these days. Mm -mm. People don't trust nobody these days, man. And I can't even blame them. Hell, I done, been through, I done been through so much, I don't know how I trust anybody with shit. I'm almost done lost trust. I really don't trust nothing no more. I trust people for be, to be who they gonna be. Call me the Magnum Man moving forward in my life. Magnum Man, I don't care if you said you're on birth control or not. Magnum. I don't care if you said you're allergic to condoms or not. Magnum. If you're allergic to condoms, peace. Get out of my face. I don't want nobody who's allergic to condoms. If you're allergic to condoms, stay out my face. Because I ain't never had an allergic reaction when I put a condom on, so that's on you. That's your personal problem. That's your personal business. So, me moving forward. I got two daughters, and that's all I'm planning on having. I got two daughters. That's it. If you're allergic to condoms, go the other way. Get out my face. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to talk. I don't want your number. That's going to be my first question from moving forward. Are you allergic to condoms? Yes, I'm allergic to condoms. Okay, get out of my face. I don't want no kid by you. I don't want no STD by you. I don't want none of that. If you're allergic to condoms, get out of my face. Well, I'm on birth control. Okay, but are you allergic to condoms? If you are allergic to condoms, stay away from me. I don't want, I don't, I'm cool. I'm, I'm good. There's so many men out here right now who got kids right now because the woman said she was allergic to condoms. And you know I'm not telling a lie. Ladies, right now, if you're allergic to condoms, put a comment in there right now and say you're allergic. Be honest. Don't tell no lie. If you really allergic, because I've, I've, like I said, I've been out here in the world for a long time. I've been on my own since I was 16 years old. So I know coming up, so many women told me they was allergic to condoms. I've heard it several times. I've heard it. This woman said they was allergic to condoms, and I went on ahead and went the other way. I said, you allergic? We, we butt booty naked, about to do the thing. I pulled a magnum condom out. What kind of condom is that? It's a magnum. I mean, this is about the only ones I can fit. What do you mean? It's a magnum. I need, I need yeah, the magnum XL. That's, yeah, it's that one. Yeah. Um, well, you need to get the um, so-and-so. What you mean I need to get the what? Oh, you allergic to magnums? Oh, okay, well, shit, put your clothes back on. I ain't got time to be jumping up, running up down the street. Going to the store, getting another pack. I'm not doing all that. Miss me with that. Miss me with that. This one girl, I had five different kinds. After that, I started getting five different, carrying five different kinds. They said, oh, um, get the lamb skins. The lamb skins will work. I'd be like, all right, you go to lamb skin. Let me see them. No, these are the wrong lamb skins. Get, get out of my face. Put, I'm going to put my clothes on and I'm gone. You, you, I know what you're trying to do. No, you're not about to get no baby up out of me. Mm-mm. And you should never have to be worrying about that when you're in a relationship. If you're in a, a serious relationship with a woman or a marriage with a woman, you should, you, you, if, if you tell a woman that you do not want no kids, right? If, if a woman asks you a million times, let's have a baby, and you say, no, I don't want to have no kids. If you keep telling a woman that you don't want to have no kids, right? And then she go get off birth control when she was on birth control and you both knew that, Right? And then all of a sudden, now she's pregnant. I'm pregnant. How you pregnant? Oh, I got off birth control. What do you mean? Why you didn't tell me you got off birth control? You have to tell people that you got off birth control. Like, ladies, stop it. I see too many of y'all. I, I made a conversation about this before, and I seen women in the background in the comments talking about, well, you should have wore a condom. No, if we have not been wearing a condom because you are on birth control, don't think you can just stop taking birth, birth control without telling a person. Man, we know what y'all doing. That is trapping that's trap. You're trapping the guy. You know exactly what you're doing. This happens too many times. There's too many brothers in my DMs talking about it. And I can definitely relate to it. I am a two-time daughter-haver. And I never planned it. 
So I know what's going on. I can, I, I went through these experiences. So when you hear me talking about these things, it's for me to help other people that's going through it. Ladies, we have to start being more honest. Yeah, y'all talk about men all the time. Y'all say men are not being honest. Men being honest, if they tell you they don't want no kid and you still keep sleeping with them, knowing that you want one, at least let them know I'm going to get my baby by any means necessary. We can respect that. A man can respect that. Because the first thing y'all thinking is that he getting his nut off by any means necessary. So why can't I get my kid by any means necessary? Tell the truth at least. Like at least let the person know so they can plan. At least. At least let them know. That's all I'm saying. Ladies, at least just tell them. Hey, hey. I'm going to let you know this. I've seen people get on camera and say they working on another kid. Behind, when the dude ain't listening, around the kid, around another kid. You're sitting around another kid that you have, and you're saying, I'm working on another kid. I'm working on number four in front of a child. And then when the children get old enough to see that content, they actually be like, oh, my God. Wow. And they think it's okay to do the same thing. Y'all are teaching bad behavior, women. Stop it. We have, You got to be just like fathers, man. Fathers, you got to say this. One thing about fathers we make sure we don't do certain things that's going to be right in front of the child that we know that's a bad influence, man. We're not going to do that. So as women, y'all have a job, y'all have a duty, y'all, especially when you have daughters. As a mother, when you have daughters and you raise daughters, you have to teach your daughters the right thing. Don't be sitting here talking about having sex with a dude in front of your daughters, ladies. Don't talk about having sex with a man in front of your kids, when y'all hear me on here on these platforms talking, I'm, I'm by myself talking to nothing but grown people. And I see people come on a man's page and try to judge a grown man for speaking. Well, however I speak on a public platform when I don't even allow my children to have social media. So I don't even expect my children to even be on social media seeing anything that I'm doing because I don't tell them to have a social media. I don't allow them to. I don't. Uh, if you see my kids on social media with a page, and they running it themselves. If you see any of my kids going live, they doing it behind my back. I told them they can't do it. I'm, I'm telling you right now. As a father, we're different. Now, to y'all, if you letting y'all kids be on social media, going live and typing and posting all type of stuff on y'all on their pages, that's what you allow your children to do. Me, as a father, I don't allow my kids to have a social media page and be and respond and do things on their own. Now, will I create a page for my children and let them be entertainers and stuff like that? Yes, but I'm going to run it if I make my kids a page until they are at the age of 18. So if you see a child of mine on social media, it was it's, it's not because I told them they could do it. I told them not to. They broke the rules. So I'm going to let you know that right now. If you see any kid under the age of 18 that's my kid and they're on social media going live and doing all type of stuff, I didn't tell them they could. Their mother might have told them that they could. So the mother has different rules from the father. I'm structure. I'm Mr. Structure. So I've seen, I've seen some women get on social media and talk about kids. All of my kids get along with me. All of my kids love me. They're supposed to if you give them everything they want. If you let your kids be your damn parent, they're going to love you. Hell, I would too. I'm going to love my daddy and mama too if they let me do everything I want to and there's no structure. Yes. If my, if my dad lets me do drink wine at 15, if, if my dad lets me go out and make babies at, at a young age and that's what I want to do, I'm going to love my dad. <laughs> I'm going to love my mother. If they let they allow me to do everything that I feel like I want to do, yes. Hey, we're best friends. Like, y'all got to stop trying to be best friends to y'all kids. Y'all ain't got no type of structure in y'all houses no more because y'all want to be able to be friends with your kids. I don't want to be my kids' friends. Mm-mm. When I have kids, they not to be. I'm not to be friends with them. No, uh, uh, no, you're not. Gonna, no, I'm not your friend. What you mean? We about to go hang out? No, we're not on the same level. You're not the same age as me. No, you can't go to the club with me. No, you're not my friend. You're my child. You're, you're my kid. I wish you nothing but the best. You're gonna stay a kid as, as long as you're gonna be a kid. I don't care what social media tells y'all. I don't care. Social media tell you it's cool. Oh, well, my friends are hanging out already. Okay, well, their your friends can hang out. They got a different daddy. They, they daddy, not me. If you're under my roof, you're going to go by my rules. You're not going to be out at this mall or these clubs, all of this. Sex trafficking is major, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I have daughters, so my mind frame is different. My kids are not going to be outside going to malls and stuff with other kids that I don't know, from other parents that I don't know how they parent their kids. That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. I have structure in my home, so 
for y'all that's looking to be y'all kids' best friend, congratulations. Hopefully they make it back home tomorrow. Cold world, very cool world. If you want to be your kids' best friend, good luck to you. Prayers, prayers to Allah, whoever it is that you pray to. You understand what I'm talking about? Whoever it is that you pray to. Prayers, prayers up, man. And I'm praying for all of y'all. All of y'all parents out here that want to be your kid's best friend, prayers up to you. But as soon as you stop being your kid's best friend and lay down some structure, see what happens. See what happens. Y'all don't realize that. They, they don't, y'all don't give your kids spankings no more. Kids don't get whoopings no more. I don't know why. You know it worked on you. You know that's why you ain't shooting no school up because you got your ass whooped. You know you didn't go out here and have a bunch of babies while you was a teenager. Some of y'all didn't because you know what would have happened. You know, some of us had to pick our heads up from between the damn dryer. You said, I sound mad. I sound mad cool. That's all I sound. I sound passionate. Like, tell me a person who gets on here and gives a lecture and gives it. But you want me to be boring? To the people that come in and say that I sound mad. Do you want me to come on here and be boring? Would you rather watch me be boring? Would you, do you want me to read a scripture? You want me to, hey, um, gay, to gay, um, kids are out of control today, y'all. Yes, um, these kids are out of, no, I'm sorry, I refuse to lecture that way, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lecture that way, if you think that I'm mad and you ducking and hiding behind your damn phone right now because you lack structure, you didn't have a man in your house that talked with bass in his voice, if that's you, I'm sorry for you, I am so, I am so sorry for you, you better figure out how to, you better go see if you can find some parents who gave a damn about you, because if they talk to you soft tone and let you do everything that you, let you do everything that you wanted to do, I'm sorry to say that they didn't give a damn, I'm sorry. If they let you come and go as you please, go out with boys. If you are a girl right now and at the age of 14 and 15, you was able to leave and go with boys, your parents didn't care nothing about you. I'm, I'm just, I'm, that's, I'm telling you, that's my opinion. They didn't care nothing about you. This is 2024. Sex trafficking is at an all-time high. These kids, these girl, little girls is going out here and having to become adults in other countries. They out here sleeping around with grown men. If you go, they be on these porn sites with grown men, all type of stuff, man. Y'all better start paying attention to your kids if you care about them. Stop being their friends and be their parents. Stop being their friends and being their parents. Y'all ain't going to ever be able to shame the truth. Y'all, be, I be seeing people like, yo, your kids don't like you. Oh, I don't give a damn. I, I don't, I didn't raise my kids for my, I didn't bring kids into this world for them to like me. They're going to respect me, and they're going to be taught well. They're going to be taught structure, and that's it. If they want to go against the grain, that's, it is what it is. That's how life goes. That's, but my kids can never parent me. So if y'all allow y'all kids to parent y'all, that's on y'all. Like I just said before, a lot of y'all don't even give whoopings no more. Half of y'all right now, give your kid a whooping right now, they're going to get on social media and say that, that you beat them. They're going to tell you that you, 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 you damn near killed them. They're going to get on social media. And try to shame you if you give your kid a whooping. That's why a lot of y'all don't give y'all kids whooping now. So this is my thing right now. I'm going to give y'all some real education right now. Because I'm a real man and I'm going to speak it. And I don't care. I can't, I can't go to jail for it. I can't go to jail for nothing that I've ever done. You understand what I'm talking about? Because I don't commit crimes. So this is what I'm going to tell you. You little punk ass parents that came on here right now. To say your little thoughts. Give you a little feedback on my platform. This is what I'm going to say to you little punk ass parents right now. This is what I'm going to say. I want you to listen to me real good. If you discipline your child, you will not go to jail. If whoopings is still okay. Whoopings is still okay. I'm not saying what we got coming up. Now, some of us got hit with switches and sticks and, and, and drop court. No, we talking about belts that you put on your um, waist and stuff like that. We talking about the pop, pop, pop type of whoopings. Those are okay. Um, if you don't believe it, ask CPS. Ask CPS, can you discipline your children? Because what they do is they use these social media apps and get on here and, and call a whooping. They say they got beat down and all type of stuff. They tell lies. Especially when they have never had nothing but one whooping. How many of you guys in here only had one whooping? It probably hurt your feelings to the utmost, didn't it? It probably hurt. Man, I, done got, so I got so many whoopings coming up, man. I ain't even deserve some of the whoopings I got. My whoopings was different. I got whoopings for nothing. I got whoopings for telling the truth. If they thought I was lying, I still got a whooping. But I was telling the truth. That's why my name is the truth. I keep it real no matter what. If your feelings going to be hurt, your feelings going to be hurt. You dig what I'm saying? I ain't about to lie to make your feelings be better. So this is my, like I said, y'all lack structure. Somebody said, don't mark them. Hey, if a belt put a whip on you, it's going to be all right. That'll probably make you behave a little bit better later on. Belts leave whips. That's not, that's not a crime. Belts need, leave, leave whips. If somebody get popped on their arm like that, they'll leave a whip. CPS ain't got no problem with that. I can promise you. Call CPS and ask them. 
Say, hey, my kids is being disrespectful. They ran away. Is it okay if I spank their bottom? Um, they're going to say, yes, it's okay. And if they say, no, it's not okay, don't, don't do nothing. Do absolutely nothing. This is what's going to happen. Your kids is going to leave your house. They're going to disrespect you. And then when they get out there into the real world, they're going to disrespect other people. Just because you didn't provide structure or give whoopings, the streets is going to provide structure and whoopers. Guess who else is going to provide structure and whoopings for you? The police is going to provide structure and whoopings. So why do you think when these kids get out of here, they get disrespectful to the cops? They being disrespectful to the cops because they was disrespectful to you. If you ain't do nothing to them, you think, you think they think anybody else can do something to them? Oh, my mama and my daddy ain't even do this. They get out of here and they buck on the cops. Now all of a sudden the cops done pull the nightstick out. Because they bucking on the cops. They swinging on the cops. They doing all this. Now they beat up by the cops. Now y'all want to get on here and start holding up some signs. Oh my God. Black Lives Matter. Do it. You let your kids be out of control. And then when they get outside, the streets had to teach them. Man, I'd rather teach my kids before the streets could. Because the streets going to teach them a totally different way. I care about my kids. So if I give my kids a, 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 le a lesson, if I give them a speech, if they get a spanking or whatever the case may be, that's from me. That's from somebody that love them. I'd rather them get their discipline from me than somebody out there in the streets because they're going to get it. I can promise you that. Welcome to reality. They're going to walk outside into the real world because you, the mother who's on here right now that wants to be your kid's best friend, lacks structure. You didn't want to teach your kids structure. That's why they disrespecting y'all. Half of your kids is beating up on y'all. And then you call the daddy when it's too late. Oh, dad, can you come and get him now? He, she just slapped me in the face. She just cussed me out. She just, or he just did this to me. Now you want to call the daddy. No, let the daddy be the daddy from day one. Then you ain't got to worry about all that. Structure is going to be applied by the father. I can promise you that. And it ain't even got to be no whoopings. The tone, a man's tone is even different. It's way different. You understand what I'm saying? Men don't even have to really give whoopings. I gave one of my kids one whoop in her entire life. One. And that's my oldest daughter. That's the only one that's ever got a spanking by me. And that one whooping, damn near, I that one whooping damn near broke a whole bond to get a whooping. One whooping. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all don't realize that. Y'all don't know. And y'all better start providing structure because what kids going to do? They going to run to the one who lacks the structure. If both parents lack, if, if both parents provide structure, then your kid is going to be okay. So this is me as a parent. I'm telling you all right now. Mothers and fathers provide strict structure. Structure Both. Both of y'all need to be providing strict structure. That way the kids don't run to the weaker parent. If you are the weaker parent, they're going to come to you every time. And then soon as, soon as, and later on in life, they're going to be whooping your ass too. Y'all women going to be getting slapped around in your own houses later on. Just watch. Oh, I can't, boy, boy, I can't, hey, for you, especially y'all ones that's got sons. Ooh-wee, I pray for y'all. Y'all ones that's got sons, oh my God, Lord, have mercy. I pray for y'all. Y'all better get some structure. Y'all better get that man to step in and let that man do his job. Y'all better let that man do his job. You ain't gonna catch, you ain't gonna go in no, no jungle and watch a lion and uh, 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 the, the female trying to keep that kid away from that, from the male. You ain't gonna ever catch that in no other, man, you only see that stuff with humans. And then we, and then we say humans are supposed to be the smartest people on the planet. Man, hell no, they not. Uh-uh, I can't see it. Ain't no damn way. Hold on, let me put this stuff up for a second. Y'all better get right before y'all come in here being nosy with me because I'm going to preach to you. And, and, and then tomorrow y'all going to be over there crying in my comments. Nosy as hell. But then when you come over here and get this structure, that's why y'all be mad because y'all getting some structure you never got when you was growing up. <coughs> <coughs> it hurts my feelings to see some of y'all and y'all some of y'all older than me. And it seemed like y'all didn't have structure. Ain't no way y'all older than me and y'all don't know what structure is. And then y'all give these kids so much power. I'll be damned. If I watch one of y'all kids disrespect y'all, I'm not even going to follow y'all kids on social media. I'm going to tell you right now. If I see one of y'all kids disrespecting any of y'all on social media, I'm going to unfollow their pages. If I was following your kid because your kid was talented or something like that, I'm going to unfollow your kid because what I realized with social media, these kids are going to be very disrespectful. Y'all ain't going to have a chance. Y'all wouldn't even have a chance out here. We, we had to respect our parents growing up. These kids today, they ain't got to respect their parents. I see it all the time. I see y'all, I see a bunch of mothers and stuff online going live and fathers going live, going through so many different things. Y'all ain't got no control in your house. 
and people be running over here. Y'all be mad screaming at the camera. That's why I don't ever come on here screaming at no cameras and stuff. I don't come over here in my feelings crying on camera, doing all of that no more, man. I've cried on camera before way back in the day, but like I've grown from so much. Like, you know, when you, when you get to a level of, uh, when you come to, when you come to, your, to the understanding that you don't have no control over nobody but yourself, your life becomes so much more easier, man. People disappoint you every day. People have disappointed me. People have disappointed y'all. People have disappointed everybody every day. And then y'all, what y'all gonna do? Go cry in the corner about it? Ain't no way I'm about to sit and cry over something that I know I can't control. There's no way. We, we got children out here all day long. We can't even control our own kids. When a kid gets something in their mind that they want to do, they gonna do it. And ain't nothing you can do about it. They gonna sneak and do it behind your back. They gonna be manipulative just like everybody else in the world. We know kids are some of the most manipulative people in the world. And they're going to use it to an advantage. And as long as you feed into it, it's going to be good for them. See, I come on here and I say whatever the hell I want to say because can't nobody do shit to me. I come on here and speak nothing but the truth. Why? Because I'm a grown-ass man. That's the problem. A lot of these men out here lack structure too. And they lack the intelligence to know that you are a man. What's higher than a man? Can, can we please tell me what's higher? God, obviously. But we talking about what, when you start seeing men come on platforms and telling lies and trying to fit in, and I'm never going to fit in. I'm going to stand out, man. I'm going to keep it correct every time and don't care who don't like me for it. If you don't like me for speaking the truth, that's cool. Keep, get the fuck on. I don't give a damn about none of that. I'm not, I'm not a people pleaser. And that's the problem, too. A lot of y'all people are people pleasers. You, you ain't got to like what I do. That's fine. I'm still going to do what I do. And I know it all coming from a good place in my heart every time. So it ain't y'all can't shame me. Ain't nothing y'all gonna be able to ever say to shame me. I still believe that kids need to be disciplined. I ain't changed that. In 2024 or beyond, I'd rather me give my kids structure and discipline than the streets. So if y'all rather let the streets do it, your, your kids might not come back home. That's all I'm gonna say. If y'all punk ass parents stop providing structure and discipline to y'all kids, you best believe the streets gonna give it to them. And they don't love them. The streets don't give a damn about nobody. So you better step that structure up in your house. If you don't listen to what I'm saying right now, that's okay. That's on you. If you want to have a gripe about the truth tomorrow, oh, I don't like Robert Hampton. He said this. He said that it's okay to discipline your kids. He said that this. Yeah, I damn sure said it, and I ain't going to never bite my tongue behind it. I ain't never going to bite my tongue behind it. And best believe me, if I see my kids doing enough on this social media, a lot of y'all going to get to see it. It'll be televised. Y'all know how they be putting up them little boxing matches on the internet? Y'all know how they do those celebrity? It's going to be a celebrity whooping match if, if, if mine play with me. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm saying it publicly on a public platform. I will, it will be recorded. It'll be one of the most viewed videos ever in the world in history. You hear me saying it on a public flat platform. Spanking live on camera. Spanking live on camera. Straight like that. And I don't care what nobody think about it. What's going to happen? Nothing. It's not a crime. Nothing's going to happen. How do I know? Because it's not a crime. So if y'all want to start being bullied by these people on the internet, bullied by these by Instagram and Facebook and TikTok, y'all go ahead and be bullied. But like I told you before, I'm going to teach my kids discipline and structure, not the streets. So if y'all want to let the streets do that to y'all kids and they don't come back on, that's on y'all. It's no fear in my heart. I'm not afraid of nothing. So if y'all going to be parents to y'all kids, be parents to y'all kids because the streets is not, streets, the streets is dangerous. The streets don't care. The streets don't give a damn. You hear me? The streets don't, the streets don't care. So y'all better stop trying to be your kid's best friend. You better say something hateful, Robert, because you ain't never lying. That's, I mean, that's it. That's why my name is the truth. That's why my name is the truth. I ain't got a lot of, I, I ain't got a lot of kick it. A lot of y'all got a lot of kick it. I ain't got to do that. You feel what I'm saying? Wow, that Miles, he degrade women and mothers every day. You cheering this dude on. I degrade mothers and children every day. So if me telling you to be a mother to your kid and provide discipline and structure is me being degraded, you need to go ahead and just get your ass up off my line right now. That might have been one of the most dumbest comments I've heard coming from a person that's supposed to be a woman. How am I degrading women by when I'm giving you real life game? Punk ass parents, like I said, if you mad, stay mad. I don't care. Your kid probably can come in there and call you a punk ass parent right now too and you won't do nothing because you're scared. You're scared. Facebook has you scared. Instagram has you scared. TikTok has you scared. 
The other man got you scared. Hell out of here with that, man. Y'all, y'all some punk ass parents, man. I'm gonna leave it at that. Punk ass parents. Hi. Y'all kids tell y'all what to do. Make that make sense. Ain't my kid ain't never gonna tell me what to do. I can promise you that. Now, if y'all gonna let y'all kids tell y'all what to do, do your thing, man. That shit, that ain't got shit to do with me. I don't live in y'all house. I sleep good every night. I'm at peace every time. You dig what I'm saying? That's the one thing y'all got to understand. So when I speak on this, I speak to the women who don't provide structure. Because some women do. I know some women out here who definitely provide structure. This is not in its totality. It's women out here who provide structure. Some provide structure and discipline better than men. I know some. I was raised by those type of women. So believe me. That's, that, say it again. The streets is raising your kids if you ain't going to raise them. Some of your kids got a pound of weed up under the bed right now. Your dumb ass don't even know it because you their best friend. You done gave them a, a brick of money too. Hey, okay, I want to buy the new Jordans. They're $500. You give them $500 now, all of a sudden, they, they come back. They got 10 pair of damn Jordans. How the hell they get 10 pair of Jordans with the 500 you gave them? They, they selling dope at this point. And you their best friend. You don't know. You give them all the privacy they need in, the, in their house now. All the privacy. They in the room locked. Y'all seen that movie um, where, where um, that Biggie Smalls movie, whenever she went in there and, had to knock, and the plate was under the bed with the crack in it? Y'all, Some of y'all, y'all kids in there selling dope out your house and you don't know it because you ain't got, you, you let your people, just kids do whatever they want to do. Come in all hours of the night, they do what they want to do. You creating some of the biggest dope dealers in the world, don't even know it. I'm my best friend. I'm my kid's best friend. I let my kids do whatever they want to do. Okay. Let the streets raise them. If that's what you want to do. Somebody say y'all hoes bitter as hell in these comments. Man, you know they in here because they the same way. Anybody who's mad about what I'm saying is their kid's best friend. I can promise you that. Any of them that's acting like that are their kid's best friend. Because I ain't got to get on here and tell you how good of a person I am. I ain't got to do that. I don't have to sell no story on myself. I know who I am. And people who know me know exactly who I am. So it doesn't matter about no narrative that nobody paint about me. The truth is the truth and we know what's going on. You dig what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, that's fine. I don't give a fuck. I'm not here to impress none of y'all. I don't care if y'all don't like me. If you don't like me, join the club. And for all of you who do love me, I love you back. Because I got a lot of people who love me. I got a lot of people who hate me. That's cool. It's life. I'm not one of them people that think that I'm going to go through life and make everyone like me. Of course not. Shit. We all know kids hate structure and discipline. We know that. They hate that. Just like me speaking about this right now. A lot of people is going to hate that. Some of y'all still have a kid mindset. So how can we grow as people? How can we grow as human beings? How can we make our world better if we lack structure and discipline? How? How, Sway? It's impossible. That You see, you we got some real ones in. I see now, it's not as many punk-ass parents as it was when I first cut it. Oh, look at all these in here talking about bust their ass. All the people saying discipline, like, okay, so, 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 so it is some real people who still, it's some real people that exist right now. Okay, all right, I thought y'all, I thought y'all retired. I didn't know we had no more of those people. I didn't know it was no more big mamas. I didn't know it was no big mamas. These girls out here now, they focus more on putting makeup on and discipline. Shit, they, shit, they want their nails done. Damn some discipline. They want to go put nails on their on daughters now at 14 and 15. They, they want to put wigs in their daughter's hair. And now they want to act grown. Did y'all know that wigs can make your kids act, act grown or too? Nails and all that stuff can make your kids act grown. <laughs> Boy, don't, don't give your... Man, I tell you my advice. Don't give your kids no wigs, no, no, no makeup, no nails, none of that until they get 17, 18 years old. That's, that's my opinion. If your kid under the age of 18, you should not be buying them wigs, fingernails, and makeup. I'm sorry. I don't give a damn what the kids at the school is doing. And I, I can only speak on that because I have daughters. And I've seen a change. I've seen a change when the makeup and the, and the nails and the, and the lashes and the wigs and stuff. Once those things came into place, ooh, grown woman, oh my God. Oh my God. Can we burn the wigs, the makeup, the nails and the lash? Can we burn that shit? Can we get rid of that? Can we put an age limit on that? Can we make you have to be 18 and have an ID to put that shit on? Can we do that? Like, that's, that, that's the bottom line. I'll, I'll get straight to the... Can we please put an ID on wigs, bundles, 
And if a parent has a kid that's wearing that type of shit under the age of 18, they need to get go to court. Put the mother in jail for, do, for, for allowing it. Because when kids put that type of stuff on, it makes them think that they're actually grown. This is my advice to everybody that's on here right now. If you have a child under the age of 18, please don't buy them no wigs, no lashes, no, no bundles, no makeup, none of that. You understand what I'm talking about? Don't ever buy them none of that. Don't ever, don't ever buy them none of that. It's people on here talking about people's story has never changed. And that, man, a, a lie, you're going to keep telling a lie. What are you talking about? You, you don't have to come in here and tell me about somebody who told a lie. If they told a lie from day one, they're going to tell a lie from day two, day three, day four, day five, day a thousand. They're going to continue to tell lies. Now, when you got truth speakers like myself, the truth is going to speak the truth from day one to day one million every time. It's the same thing. So if a liar is going to speak a lie, they're going to speak, they're going to stick to that lie. Why wouldn't they? If they get on social media with it, why would they change it? Why would they change it? That be killing me with the weirdos who come in here and say the dumbest shit. Oh, so and so never changed the story. Pinocchio, no, Pinocchio's nose kept growing too, didn't it? Didn't it? Pinocchio's nose kept growing. Why? Because he kept fucking lying. So just because somebody didn't change their story don't mean that they told the truth when all the facts point to a lie. If I came on here and called somebody and said something about a person's character and made them out to be a, crime, a criminal for a whole year long and they never was in jail, who going to start looking like a liar? The one who keep telling the damn lies on this motherfucker. And the people I'm talking about to be on here telling lie after lie after lie about people is the one catching the criminal charges. How you don't understand a criminal liar? Criminal liar. Put that shit together. What you got? Why you think I, that's why I don't have to come on here and combat everything that's being said. But if I'm live and I see something pop up, I'm a passionate person. I'm going to speak on it and help you analyze it. Break it down to dummy terms because some of y'all just ain't got no, y'all ain't got no type of intellect. Y'all heard something over here or heard something over there and y'all just ran with the bullshit. Like, it is what it is, man, at the end of the day. Like I told you before, I'm providing structure, wisdom. I'm going to teach y'all some things when you come to my platform. So if you don't want to be taught nothing, don't bring your ass over here. That's all I can say to you. Tiana Hanser, thank you so much for the star. Everybody who done sent stars on here, I appreciate y'all. I've been on my rant. I'm giving y'all some game, and I'm, I'm assuming that's the reason why a lot of stuff is coming in. Somebody said the story was rehearsed. Yeah, man, like I said, a liar is going to rehearse the story. But if you keep listening to a liar, they keep on switching the story, too, in certain spots, in certain areas. They're going to continue to keep, you know what I'm saying? A liar got to keep the lie going. So that's the problem with telling lies. When you tell lies, you have to keep telling other lies to try to make that lie come true. And it never comes true because you just tell you just gonna keep telling lies. That's just how I go. I don't have to do that. I can say my story one time and it's gonna be that. And, the, and another thing is, I don't tell my story. I need y'all to understand this to all the good folks that's on here right now. It's three sides to a story, right? Your side, their side, and the truth. I don't go to my side. I don't go to their side. I only go to one spot and that's the truth because what the hell are you gonna do about it when I tell you the truth? You can't do shit to me when I tell the truth. You can't, it's nothing that you can do to me. I don't go to, I don't go to that side or that side. I go straight to the truth. So yes, it is three sides to it. But when you tell the truth, it ain't nothing nobody else can do to refute it. You can make up, you can make fake text messages. You can get on here and make, do 20,000 lives, telling lies, all that. If, if the person tells the truth, that's it. That's it. That's all. That's it. I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta discuss it. It is what it is. You'll see the truth coming to light out everywhere else. It always comes to the light, people. Yeah, they stuck. I'm going to let them stay stuck. At this point, man, I can't, I don't speak dummy. So like I said, people who get me, they actually smart. You know, it's a couple of people running around here. When I said six plus six was 36, boy, they had a party. And those were the dumbest people in the world. They took that and had a party and didn't realize I said that just to get them to run around and promote that. They promote anything that they feel like is dumb because they're dumb. They don't know that six times six is 36. They have no clue. So I mean, I mean, let, me get, let me get a dummy something else to talk about real quick. Let me see. Seven plus seven is 42. Run with that one. Let's, let, me see, let me see those tomorrow too because y'all going to promote that too. Let me see. I'll say it again. Court is coming. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, court is coming, but I need y'all to understand this too about court because it'd be so many people with my situation because it has went public because I have children. I have other other different baby mamas that get on social media because they need to talk about that type of stuff to try to get some engagement. So 
because they talk about that type of stuff, I get so many people coming to my page saying, yo, go to court. Go Listen, court stuff is already situated, man. Like, what y'all got to understand in the world that we live in, man, I'm not the only person out here going through what I'm going through, man. This is a, this is not a one, this is my thing. This is my problem with life and, and social, this is my problem with social media. Um, Obviously, when you file for a divorce, I'm not the only person who filed for a divorce, man. You know how many people in Atlanta filed for a divorce when I did? I filed for my divorce in December, right? Do you know how many people filed for a divorce on the same day I did and since that? A lot, people. A lot. Courts don't just say, oh, we, Robert Hampton is the biggest one out of everybody right now. <laughs> Robert Hampton has everybody on the internet right now. Robert Hampton has all these baby mamas speaking about him to get clout off him right now. They don't, they don't care. They don't look into all that, people. So it is a process. Like, when you go through a divorce, it's a lot of different people on the list. So by that list, custody cases, everything, people. It's custody cases. Like I know y'all, I know it's a long process if you follow one person and you and you don't realize that I'm not the only one. That's why when I come on here and I speak about situations like mothers, you need to let the father see their kids. I'm not talking about me. My situation, I already got my situation intact. I'm just waiting till the court dates and shit. You dig what I'm saying? So when I get on here and I tell people, look, man, you got to take them to court. You got to do this and that. I ain't preaching to the choir. You dig what I'm saying? I'm not talking to myself. I am not talking about myself. Listen, 90% of my posts on here, if, if you don't hear me saying, download my music, buy my um, all, whatever, if, if it's not direct of me talking about me, I'm not talking about me. If you see a status, hold on. I made a status yesterday and I that people keep coming and mentioning my exes and all that on every one of my damn posts. And I'll be like, God, dog, can y'all get over that? Shit, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. Let me see. I have content. C-O-N-T-E-N-T. -E I have content for days. Tap dancing, singing, rapping, skits. I got a book out. I got alls out. I, I'm in movies. Man, I got so much content, man. You feel what I'm saying? I don't have to come. Listen, I, I do too many different things, bro. That type of shit. I don't even want to hear y'all talking about that shit, to be real with y'all. Like, it's draining. But I said, uh, hold up. Let me see what I said on this status. And I seen so many people pointing this to me. I said, I would, never ex I would never expect a woman I broke up with or a person I ended a friendship with to speak highly of me. Just don't speak on me at all. I made that post and people thought it was directed at somebody. Oh, who you talking about? Who you talking about? This post is for everybody in the world. I'm not the only person who's broke up with somebody or ended a friendship. This is crazy. This has got to be one-on-one -on -one for dummies sometimes on Facebook. That's why I said Facebook, YouTube, people got a little bit more common sense. TikTok, people got a little bit more common sense. I'm not trying to hurt y'all feelings. I'm trying to tell you right now. I'm just trying to tell y'all to keep up. That's all I'm doing. I'm just saying keep up with your boy. That's all I'm saying. If you're going to follow me, keep up with your boy. That's all I'm saying. So when I come on here and I say some of y'all don't know what 2 plus 2 is, a lot of y'all was mad. A lot of y'all felt offended. All I'm saying is keep up, man. That's all I'm saying. Look, I'm not the only person who's broke up with somebody or ended a friendship and got talked about on the internet and got bashed. My thing, like I told you before when I said that, why are you talking junk and you got broke up with? If you was my friend, if you were somebody's friend and they ended a friendship with you, why are you talking junk about the other person and they ended the friendship with you? Those are not your lines, people. If you got broke up with, your lines is not to be the ones to disrespect or bash the person you got broke up with. You're the bad person. You're the person that the person did not want anymore. You're taking that person's lines and you're using their lines against them. And that's just, we got to draw the line somewhere. At some point, I've never in my life got broke up by somebody and went online and talked bad about somebody who broke up with me. I would look like a complete fool. I would look like a complete idiot if I got broke up with and then got on social media and talked bad about the person who broke up with me. That would be some foolish behavior, people. Those are not my lines if that's the case. If you broke up with me, I shouldn't be able to say nothing bad about you because I look fucking dumb. Because now people are like, well, why the fuck did you break up? Why did he break up with you then? That, that would be my question. If I caught somebody on the internet that just got broke up with, bashing the person who broke up with them, I'm a very logical thinker, and that's why a lot of people get mad at me. I ain't very logical. I don't want to know what you're saying bad about that person. I want to know why he broke up with you. 
Oh, I want to know why she broke up with you. If you got broke up with, and I see you talking bad about the person that broke up with you, I'm gonna add, I'm you can say you can say a million things. He this, he that, he's this, he's that, he's this. I'm gonna say, well, why he break up with you? That, 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 I, that's all I want to know. I just want to know why he broke up with you. I don't give a damn about what you got to say bad about that person. I want to know why he broke up with you. If you got broke up with, that's all I want to know. I don't give a fuck about none of that other stuff. Yeah, he's this, he's broke. He didn't do this for me. He did that to me. I don't care. Why did he break up with you? That's the only thing I want to know. That's it. I don't want to know nothing else. I'm sorry. Don't come tell me nothing bad about your dude. Lady, I don't want to hear nothing bad about your man. If I'm and if and if you're in a relationship with me and you still talking about bad about your man, I'm out the door. I'm gone. I'm telling you that right now. I, I be seeing some of y'all dudes out there looking foolish. It's men out here right now. I be seeing men out here right now. You got a woman and she's still talking about her damn ex, bro. Nigga, you got to be the biggest goofball on the planet. Any man out there right now who's who with a woman right now and a woman is talking about the dude, the ex that they was with, you's a fucking fool. You's a dummy. And I'm sorry. I, to any man, if you're doing this, you's a dummy. You heard it from me. Robert Hampton said it. You's a fucking dummy. I said it. Yes, I had to put the emphasis on it. You's a fucking dummy. You're hearing it from Robert Hampton. That's some sucker stuff. That's some simp stuff. That's simp behavior because I would never be with a woman who's talking bad about a man that she was with. Because if you with me and I make you happy, you shouldn't even be talking about no other man. I don't give a damn how much you don't like that man. If you still talking about a man and you with me, kick fucking rocks. I don't want nothing to do with you. I'd be damned if you won't ever catch me on camera with a woman and she's talking bad about another man and I'm with this woman. If I'm with you and you talking about your ex, man, I'm, you, I'm not with you no more. Get the fuck up out my face. I'm sorry. This is to any dumbass man right now who's with a woman right now who's still talking about her ex. If she's still talking about her ex in a bad way, good way, whatever the case may be, and your dumbass still sitting right there, use a simp. Go ahead and write simp across your forehead. To any man that's doing that. I done heard about some of y'all flunkies. Some of y'all women out there, some of, the, some of y'all dudes out there are women who make whole new pages to talk bad about their ex. They on a whole new page. Still talking about their ex, but, but they with you. And they claiming to be the happiest people in the world. But they still talking about the other dude. Man, bro, you better, man, whoever you are around the world, I know it's a bunch of y'all out there. Bunch of y'all goofballs out there. Bunch of y'all goof troops. I know y'all out there around the world, my nigga, and I pray for y'all because I would not, I've never experienced that type of torture. That's torture. That would be torture for me to sit around some woman and she talking about her damn ex. Man, that's torture. I, man, I, man, I, that would be, if I had a nightmare about that, it'd be the worst nightmare I've ever had in my entire life. That's worse than it. Y'all remember that clown? It? A lot of y'all scared of clowns. I'm scared of any type of clown that would allow that type of fucking behavior. That is crazy. That's a mental condition. I can't, I can't imagine the type of anger a person would harvest in their chest. If, if a man ain't no, I could not imagine that. I mean, I'm telling you. And I had a few dudes hit me up like, bro, oh, I have a girlfriend, man, but she keeps talking about her ex. I'd be like, bro, leave that. Bro, leave that alone, bro. She still want him, bro. I tell fellas that shit all the time, man. That's my counseling to dudes. If a dude comes to my DMs and tells me he's with a woman and the woman keeps talking about her ex, I'll be like, hey, bro, go ahead and get up out there, dog. Dog, that ain't, that ain't for you, dog. She still want that dude, dog. That's what I tell him every time. She still want that dude, bro. That, I mean, that's common sense. Every woman on here is agreeing because they know. It's not one woman on here right now that's going to say that they're with a new dude and they're still talking about their ex and they don't still want their ex. It's not one on here that's going to say that. Women know women more than anybody. And I've been with so many women, I know the dialect. I know women. I know women top to bottom. I know. So that's why I told you I would never allow that. I would never allow that. If you're talking about another man, you still with him. That's how I see you. This is me. All for one time, I'm going to say, I bow out gracefully. Whenever you're over that situation, holler back at me. That's what I would say. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. But, you know. Maybe I'm speaking another damn language. Like I told y'all, when y'all come over here to the truth page, y'all gonna hear nothing but the truth. Robert Hampton don't do nothing but give y'all nothing but the truth. I ain't trying to hurt no feelings. If my advice pisses you off, that's cool. 
Log off. I don't make nobody stick around. I ain't make nobody subscribe to the network. I ain't make nobody type their little three words in here, whether you like me or not. That's your fingers. If you want to get arthritis up in your hands and you got calluses on your knuckles from sitting around dragging your fingers across the keyboard talking about me, that's on you. You can't sue me. That's your business. You got the free will to do it up. Just like God give you free will, I give you free will. You do whatever the hell you want to in them comments. You do whatever you want to on your phone. Rashida said, I ain't thinking about my ex. I bet you probably happy. And I mean, some, some people are single and don't speak on them. Some people single and happy. Like, but it's even worse if you're in a relationship and still speaking on a person. Like, get over it. Let it go. And don't speak on a person who broke up with you. That's dumb. That's all I've been saying. Like, that shit is crazy. You... Damn, boy. Like, I, I don't know. This 2024 shit different. I see people speaking on a man who broke up with them. I see women on here speaking on men who broke up with them. I see men speaking on women who broke up with them. That shit is dumb. I ain't got that type of time or energy, man. I'm so I'm so busy doing other shit, man. I got bills to pay, bro. I got wine companies to run. I got so many different things, bro. Straight up. And then you got some of these goofballs in here who still feeding off the same dumbass narratives. And I told you, I let them have it. I don't care. If that's what you want to keep running and screaming, you're going to be looking stupid. You got to understand, this ain't going to age well for some of y'all. <laughs> In another year, some of y'all gonna be y'all y'all comments gonna be screenshotted. Y'all do know the bloggers see what y'all saying. The bloggers gonna screenshot y'all damn comments. And ten years, from, not ten years, a year from now, y'all gonna be looking like dumb and dumber. Look at like these dummies were still saying this in 20, 2014 with all the evidence. These dummies still saying that. <laughs> I tell you this. I tell you this. I told you. I said this before. I've been broke up with one time, and that was when I was in high school. I ain't had nothing bad to say about that one. And guess what else? That woman ain't had nothing bad to say about me. And this was high school. I cheated. I was young, dumb. I cheated. She found out, and she broke up with me, and she wouldn't take me back. I held myself accountable to it. I lied, too. I lied and said I didn't do it. And she knew the whole time that I did it because the girl told her. This is high school. You feel what I'm saying? So then when I finally broke down and told the truth, she said, if you would have told me this earlier, I would have stayed with you because that girl basically did that to spite the woman, but she went back and told her because they knew each other. I didn't know that. If I would have just told her the truth from day one, I would have been good. And that woman broke up with me. And that, like I said, that's high school. She ain't never had, she's never talked bad about me ever in life. But it seems to be whenever I break up with women, all of a sudden they got everything to say. And that's what I told you. I don't understand that. That's crazy. Y'all got to stop that shit, ladies. If a man broke up with you and you jumped on the internet to bash him, you made yourself look like a damn fool. Because all they got to do is ask that man why he break up with you. If he's so bad, why he break up with you? <laughs> Come on. Stop it. Y'all can't be that damn delusional, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all motherfuckers, man. <laughs> It'd be hilarious, too. Because they be really thinking, they listen, they really be thinking that what they be saying is doing something, bro. They don't realize I be crying laughing. If y'all could see me in here going through some of my comments sometimes, man, I be, <laughs> I be in tears, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. She says, <laughs> yo, this motherfucker here is in all my comments. She said, psycho. Hold up. She said, psycho, take your, hold up. Psycho, take your own advice. He going crazy again. <laughs> Appreciate that. I did it that. You can't even laugh. If you laugh on him, you crazy. It's that shrimp you put on him, bro. <laughs> Victoria, chill out, man. But... Oh, my God. Pamela, what pages you be on? Man, that motherfucker done made all type of accounts to bash me, man. They don't go to YouTube. She she posts her stuff and delete them. She go live, talk about me, and delete the videos. And it's all on YouTube. All you got to do is go on YouTube. Now, I don't mention nobody's names. I don't I don't bash nobody. It ain't not one thing y'all can say I ever said about any of my exes on here. Like, if I speak something, it's quick, short, straight to the punch. And it's and it's actually not, it's not no bashing. I don't bash nobody. I, I'm going to call you a liar to your face. So don't think I'm bashing you because I said it to you on social media. If you come on social media and you lie on me, I'm going to call you a liar on Facebook. 
If you go on Instagram and lie on me, I'm going to call you a liar on Instagram. If you go on YouTube and lie on me, I'm going to call you a liar on whatever platform you chose to got on and lie on. That if I'm bashing you because I'm exposing that you was a lying ass motherfucker, then I'm a basher. I'll take it. I'm cool. I'm going to tell you the truth every time. You a lying motherfucker, you a lying motherfucker. I'm going to take it to the grave with me too. And you're going to also take it to the grave because you lying motherfuckers will never tell the truth. And you got to understand we live in a world now where they can lie and make a couple dollars off of it. Because if y'all motherfuckers going to keep running back and forth looking at it, they're going to keep lying. Shit, I wouldn't stop neither if that was my talent. If, if my talent was telling lies, I wouldn't stop neither. You understand? I can sing, rap, act, dance. I do all those different things. I don't have to do that. But if, if your talent is lying, what you think you're going to do? That's your talent. <laughs> the fuck is you talking about? And then you lying around your kids, teaching your kids to lie. They think you're going to discipline your kids when they start lying. They learn to, if they learn to lie from you, that's what they're going to do. Shit, I done, man, I seen a man uh, 60, about 65, close to 70. I ain't, boy, I ain't never seen a motherfucker lie more than him. He got an afro. Motherfucker lies ass off, boy, 24-7. Got a kid that lied more than him. That shit crazy, bro. Look like a damn slave sitting around lying, lying 24-7, teaching your kids to lie. Stop it. Y'all got to start focusing on telling the truth, people. I'm telling you, focus on telling the truth, man. I ain't never saw an old man lie that fucking much, man. That's crazy. <clears throat> that be the problem, though. A lot of y'all teaching y'all kids a lie. All y'all do is lie 24-7, and then you get mad. You can't stop. How you going to discipline your kid for lying when you taught them how to lie? And she said, Sharon ain't caring. In your case, keep that jumbo shrimp to yourself. <laughs> Oh my God, I heard somebody said this, these comments is fake. So, I mean, I ought to make sure I'm replying to real people. There's people saying that the comments is fake on here, man. Like, let me know if y'all real. Y'all real? I know my people be real because they be live on YouTube talking about it. I don't trust you if you don't cam up and go live. So if you real, get on your live stream and say something positive about me and tag me. I need to make sure because I'm going to stop responding to some of y'all until I know y'all some real people. I need you to go live and talk about how much you rock with me and tag me. So I can put a comment on it. I want to see some of y'all beautiful faces anyway. I want to make sure y'all real because there's people saying that my people are fake. So I need to know what's up. No dancing, please. I agree with all the accolades. Nah, you can't go. You ain't about to tell me I can't dance. Hell wrong with you. You ain't about to do that to me. She, what's wrong with you? You can't even. Don't tell me I can't dance. If you can't do my favorite dance right here. If you can't do this right here. If you can't do that right there. Don't tell me I can't dance. That's a, if, if that's all I can do in the world, I can still dance. If this is the only dance I can do, I can still dance. If that's the only dance I can do, I can dance. Stop playing with me. Y'all gonna stop. Y'all gonna stop all that damn hate. Y'all gonna give me my flowers while I'm here. Shit, I went through cancer last year. Y'all better stop playing. Give me my flowers while I'm here, man. Y'all, 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 give me my flowers while I'm here, man. Let me let me get to experience my flowers while I'm on this in this world. I come on here and give y'all nothing but real game 24-7 and y'all be doing that, man. I need my flowers while I'm here right now, man. I want to be able to see this love, bro. You definitely real? Well, all right, Charlene, let, I, I'm going to hold you to that. Go live and speak highly. Show some love. Give me my flowers while I'm here. If you really rock with the truth, go live today and, and tag me and, and give me my flowers. Whatever it is that you like about me, I want to hear about it. Hell, if you don't like me and you want to get on here and talk about me, do it. I don't care. But I need my flowers while I'm here. You dig what I'm talking about? You done laugh so hard. Hey, I'm glad I can make you laugh. I'm glad I could do that, man. Hopefully you ain't pee on yourself. I be hearing about some of y'all be peeing on y'all if y'all laugh so hard. I ain't about to buy nobody no depend, so don't laugh that hard that you peeing on yourself. <clears throat> All I did is came on here and spoke the truth. Y'all better get it right. Get it right. Raise your kids so the streets won't have to. Discipline your kids so the streets won't have to. If y'all didn't get that message, y'all go back and listen to it, man. I had to come on here and give y'all some real game real quick today, man. You dig what I'm saying? And, hey, it is what it is, bro. I know I know those folks, they talking about me all day. They need to to get some clout. They need to. Ain't no talent. So this is my challenge to them. To all of y'all, to, to I, I, I'm going to say I'm, I'm tired of y'all saying I don't call it out. I don't um, address the people. Listen, to my baby mothers out there, show me you have some talent and you can do something without talking about me. 
to anybody that's connected to any of my baby mothers. Show me you got some talent and you ain't got to use my kids in your videos. You ain't got to talk about me. You ain't got to copy what I do. Show me that, bro, because that's what I want to see, man, because y'all some talentless motherfuckers from what I've been seeing, man. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I need to see some fucking talent. Like, this is crazy. Like, I, man, I built up so many different people over the years on these apps, man, especially when I had my 8 million follower page. Y'all wouldn't have got no share from me. I'm telling you, if y'all were some strangers and I seen y'all's content, you would have never got a share from me. I, I want talent. Show me that you can sing, you can rap, you can dance, you can do something. That's what I want to see from y'all. Make your money the right way, the righteous way. Make it the legal way. Because if you got to come on here and tell lies on a person just to get you a couple of dollars, I heard some of my people was talking about writing books about me, man. I, Hey, if you can make money off that, telling lies, hey, it's a lot of people done wrote books about books and lies and made money. Shit, hey, who knows? Who knows? That's all I can say. If you're going to write a book about me, hopefully you can make some money because, man, hey, it is what it is. You burn your bridge with me. Anybody going to write a book about me, if that book ain't true, you burn your bridge with me. That book better be about how excellent of a father and excellent of a man I am. If you know me in real life and you write a book, write a book about me and it's false and it's a false story, you will be sued. Because I got proof of every fucking thing that I've ever done for anybody in my life. So you best believe somebody get on here and write a book about me. And if there's some lies in there, you will be sued. Defamation, all of that. If I see anything in a book somebody wrote and it's supposed to be about me and it's not right, oh, you best believe it. And I don't care who you is, you'll go sit behind them bars. If that's what the option is, I don't care who you is, you'll go sit behind bars for writing some lies about me. And I'm going to get all the money from your little book and help you promote that motherfucker too. Go ahead. Any of y'all out there think y'all know me and y'all gonna write something about me? It better be it better be factual. It better be factual. And I'm gonna let you know that because I've been I be in these, I be in them YouTube streets hearing the gossip. I don't follow the motherfuckers who be on here that be lying. I can promise you that on my mama. I don't follow none of these motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? But I, I hear all of this shit on YouTube. Now I follow the bloggers on YouTube. That's how I know everything. That's how I know. All I got to do is go to YouTube. I see what everybody's saying about the truth. Whether you know me or you don't know me. All I know is you better make sure the shit you're putting out is facts. That's all I'm going to say. If it's facts, you get promotion. If it's not, you get sued. And I don't give a fuck who you is. Lawsuits don't give a fuck about no bloodline. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I stand by the truth, what need to be said about me is going to be the truth. Any lies, lawsuit. Straight like that. Now, go get you some talent. If you've been taught how to sing or anything by me. If you hadn't, go get the singing lessons. Take that money, use it, go get the singing lessons. Go get the dancing lessons. Go get whatever. If you open up your businesses, do the shit the right way. Get your money the legal way like I do. I use my talent. I don't use my platform to tell lies on folks. That makes no sense. To me, that's dumb as hell. That's talentless to me. That's spineless to me. Anybody that's using that platform to tell lies on people to make money, that's spineless to me. Anybody using that platform to repeat lies and you didn't do a fact check on it first, that's spineless to me. I'd rather work at McDonald's before I use a social media platform to get on here and tell lies and try to destroy people's lives. I'd rather work at McDonald's before I do that. Have some fucking dignity. Have some respect for yourself. This ain't even all about respecting somebody. Respect yourself. Anybody out here doing that weird ass shit ain't got no respect, ain't got no talent for yourself. And, you, and God ain't gonna bless none of that, so. God don't bless no mess. So That's to anybody in the world right now that's doing that dumb shit. Because all I'm going to do, you can throw all that manure out there in the world, I'm going to continue to keep growing. I'm going to keep on blossoming. I'm going to keep blossoming. That's why, it ain't, that's why you ain't stop me. You'll never stop me. Telling lies will never stop me. So, as you can see, I'm unfucking bothered Have been from day one. I'm unbothered. It's coming up on that date, though. Oh, baby, y'all done created a monster, someone that is unbothered. How did this happen right here? That was crazy. What did I do to make that happen? 
He ain't going to address what? No, I ain't going to address nothing that's dumb. What What the fuck? What am I going to address? What? Do you know how many comments coming down my page? You're going to tell me I'm not going to address that. What's that? You know how many comments came down my page? I don't see everything. I don't see everything. That's right. Purpose is everything. Tell him again. Von Siska, Cappy White. Tell him again. Purpose. I'm going to stay unbothered, man. I'm forever unbothered. You know that. Hey, and I appreciate that video you did too, Zoe Tundra and Easy Shenanigans. I shared it on my page, man. Appreciate that. You was on some real stuff, man. And I said, like I said, if anybody comes in there and disagree with your statement, then they have bitter baby mother syndrome. Only people who are going to agree with that type of behavior is people who have bitter baby mother syndrome. And I said it. Yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. If you have bitter baby mother syndrome, that's on you. You can go heal. You can go get it. You can go get some healing. All you got to do is allow your father, the baby father, to see the kid. Stop creating obstacles. Stop being bitter. Move on. Relationship didn't work. It is what it is. Kids still need both parents. If you can do that, that's how you heal yourself from bitter baby mama syndrome. That's it. That's all you got to do. Good night. You on your Cat Williams? I've been on this before Cat, before Cat Williams came on there and did that. I've been doing this. Don't, don't do that. Salute to Cat Williams. I love his. He's, he's definitely one of the kings of comedy. He's one of the goats of comedy for sure. Facts. But I'm not on my Cat Williams. I'm on my Robert Hampton. I'm on my La Truth. I've been doing this. I've been speaking the truth. This ain't just start. Some of y'all just don't listen. I've been doing this. This ain't new. You can come on here and say whatever, whenever, because, well, show, be back to listen. Oh, I know you're going to be right back to listen. You ain't got nothing else to do. Robert Hampton. You're going to come over here and listen to Robert Hampton? You're going to go speak? You're gonna listen to the truth? You're going you're gonna to go listen to anything said about Robert Hampton? You're going to go listen to anything said about the truth? That we, we know what's going on, and you're going to believe whatever you want to believe. I have to take, listen, I want to say that I got to take lashings for every man who's ever hurt y'all. That's the part that I don't like, ladies. That's the part that I don't like, ladies. All of y'all ladies on here who have been hurt by some man, I have to take the lashings that you didn't give them. And I ain't never did nothing to now one of y'all. That's the bottom line. And that y'all gotta y'all gotta heal. If and I'm to any woman on here, if you're lashing out at another man who's never done nothing to you because of what some other man did to you, you have not healed. So ain't no point in sitting there acting like you've healed. So I get a lot of negativity. I get a lot of hatred from women around the world who I've never done anything to who are upset with me and they're lashing out at me over some man that hurt them. I'm not that man. And I'm nothing like that man. I can promise you that. And that's a fact. So can you please, can you please show another black man more grace, more respect, more love? Can you please? Because I'm unbothered. Regardless. If you're hurt and you need to heal, just go heal. Lashing out at me ain't going to help you. I'm sorry. I'm not the one who hurt anybody. And I pray for all of y'all. Anybody who's ever hurt y'all, I'm sorry y'all went through that. I'm sorry whatever man it was put you through that hurt. I'm very sorry for y'all. But I want y'all to be strong enough to move past it. Forgive that person, whoever it was that hurt you. And move on with your life. Because if you still stuck, you have to imagine that they're not still stuck. Whoever they is, they probably out living their life, having a good old damn time. And y'all in here inflicting all this hurt and hatred towards me to a black man who's never did nothing to you. I ain't never did nothing but come on here and speak positive to my people. Y'all seen me love all my kids. Y'all seen me do all this stuff that y'all seen me do. But y'all want to make me out to be the, the bad guy or the villain. It's not cool. But either way, I'm unbothered. I just, I needed to add that part at the end because, I mean, I ain't about to hold my breath and sit back and wait on y'all come back and apologize to me even though y'all know I'm a good person. I ain't, I'm not going to hold my breath. It'll be nice. It'd be nice, but I ain't gonna hold my breath. Thanks to everybody who sent stars, man. Eola sent here. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. Appreciate that comment, Latria. Hey, I'm about to get up off here, man. I got things I got to do. Y'all be blessed, man. I'm out of here, man. Y'all know what it is. Real father gang. God got me. Y'all go get my beard all, man, from hbgsbrand.com. Um... Download my music on all platforms. Search La Truth. Uh, what else? Get my merch from LaTruth.org. Appreciate everybody who's been buying the merch, the mugs, Humble Over Flex, all of that. I appreciate the love, man. 
I'm out of here, man. Y'all be blessed. Go on.